since the year 2006. We started it many years ago before then. The strategy of winning the church was, was that, was to work with key individuals. People like Abo, Bishop Tutu, you know, we identified them as key voices. And then we did the similar kind of work with the National House of Traditional Leaders. Right? And we thought it's key to work with the National House of Traditional Leaders because issues of faith in terms of traditional systems are discussed in those forums. So it's important to then engage them in, in a similar approach. Um, was uh, adopted. It is difficult to imagine that you can go to a whole congregation of people that believe that homosexuality is a sin and then you're gonna walk in there and have a conversation and convince them. It is just impossible. Build a body of individual allies and meet with them individually until they become a body of a collective. And as that collective, you know, you will speak to one person and the one person will know the other and the other person will know the other. And it will ripple like that. So we can't just turn up for a dialogue and then disappear, right? Because that is not a way that you build partnerships and alliances that are sustainable. You come and make a dialogue, you turn up and you attend a church service, you turn up and you support the church when it's running its own fundraising. You turn up and you do all other things that are being done as a church to show that you actually really love this God that you're talking about. You're actually not just creating a case of um, being understood when you actually can't be showing yourself to be understanding other people. So it's buying into each other's struggles. We are together. Uh, because we need each other. We cannot, we cannot work together. So for me, that is the fundamental principle of sustenance. As Bamba Nenengizandla, let's hold hands together to fight all these forms of, all these things that separate us because they are not necessary. We belong to each other. We are a human race. We need to embrace and hold together.